Hi Makers! In this weekend's video, I will show you how to control your lights with your smartphone. Let's get started! So the system's brain will be a microcontroller, in our case an Arduino Nano because it's cheap and relatively easy to use. Then we have our remote, which in our case is a smartphone or a tablet. The only thing it needs to have is Bluetooth. I'm using the tablet that I built into my bedside table in a previous video. Then you will need to have something that connects the Arduino to the controller device via Bluetooth. I went with the HC06 Bluetooth module because of the price in comparison to the usability. Next we have our lights, they are driven by 230 or 120 volts AC depending on where you live, but both are way too high voltages for our Arduino to handle. It would fry it! So that's why we get help from a relay. A relay is basically an electronic switch. If we apply, in our case 5 volts, to its control terminals, you will hear a clicking sound. That's because it closed the connection between the common and the normally open terminal and opened the normally closed one. This way you can control higher AC voltages with just 5 volts. But none of this works without power. I chose this AC to DC adapter which is rated at 5 volts, perfect for the Arduino. To connect everything, you will need 4 female to male, 4 female to female, and some thick AC wire. You will also need 6 terminal blocks, and a box for housing the electronics. Let's get on to building it! So first you want to take your Arduino. Upload the code from the link in the video description via a USB cable. Take the 4 female to female jumpers and connect TX on the Arduino to RXD on the Bluetooth module. Connect RX on the Arduino to TXD on the module. Connect D2 to VCC and GND to GND. Take two of your female to male wires and connect one to GND and the other to 5 volts. Cut off the adapter's connector and strip the wires. Cut off two terminal blocks and connect the adapter's wires to it. Stick the adapter into a wall outlet. If not marked, test the polarity of the wires with a multimeter. If you don't have one, stick the adapter into a wall outlet and test it directly with the Arduino. If it doesn't light up, change the polarity by simply switching the wires. Secure the two wires with the screws. Take the other two female to male wires and connect one to D13 and the other to D12. Solder them to your relays control pins. But of course if you don't have a soldering station, there are relays that are pre-soldered onto a PCB and don't require any soldering since they have screw terminals. The next step is to connect two thick cables to the common and normally open terminals of the relay. They are usually marked at the bottom of the relay with a diagram or next to the screw terminals on the PCB with the letters CO and NO. Isolate every exposed AC contact with hot glue generously and make sure that the 5V and AC power cables aren't too close to one another. Next, cut off two terminal blocks. Connect the two previous wires to one side of the block. Cut a small hole for the power adapter and AC wires in the project compartment box. Secure the components with hot glue. Then grab a measuring tape and measure the distance between the lights you want to control and the place where you want the compartment box to be. Cut two lengths of thick wire of that length adding a margin of around 20 cm to each cable.
but before you proceed any further, make sure to turn the lights off and pull out the plug. I'm not an expert or an electrician, and I'm not responsible for any injuries. We are dealing with potentially deadly voltages. Take your two remaining terminal blocks and connect the wires as shown on the diagram. I then loosely routed the cables through this hanger I had next to the window. I took the compartment box, then connect the other ends of the cables to the two screw terminals from the relay. Then put the box lid on. I then set the box under the table. Then plug the plug into the socket. Slide the cover back on. Secure the cables with some cable staples. All you have to do now is to download and install the app to your device that you can find in the Google Drive folder provided in the video description. Open the app, plug the adapter into a wall outlet and turn on Bluetooth on your device. Connect your device to the module in the Bluetooth settings. If it asks for a password, then it's usually 0000 or 1234. Click on the Bluetooth logo in the app and select the first option. While your device is connecting to the Arduino, go ahead and turn the lights on with the old light switch, and then you have full control with the app. But it didn't work. So I found out what the problem was. But the one modification you need to do is to disconnect the relay wire from pin 12 and connect the male to male jumper to it and connect the other end to the input power screw terminal's ground side. Of course you can expand to being able to control multiple lights or even other devices. You can also add features for example a light sensor for turning the lights on when it gets dark. That was all for this video. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and I will see you next weekend.